I mean, I had to, and I knew, I've known, all right, we were married for almost 22 years. We were together for 25 years. I don't regret the day of meeting him. I don't regret putting up with him for all 25 years. Um, and I cert and that has nothing to do with him having this baby or him having this uh, side girl for almost 15 years. There's almost no single person that's heard about Wendy Williams' story with Kevin Hunter and hasn't been shocked by just how badly things have gone downhill. Well, there is now a new wrinkle in the case as Kevin has now come up with even more messed up excuses to try to take her money. And while Wendy has been pretty passive about things for a while, the host has finally decided to break her silence on the issue and boy did she come out with a bang. However, in all of this drama that's happening between the former couple, their child has now gotten involved in the mix. But even that isn't stopping Wendy from still firing shots at Hunter, so believe me when I tell you you don't want to miss any part of this story. I won't say much, but if I were you, I wouldn't leave this video till the end. To say that Kevin Hunter's moves since the news about Wendy's problems started getting out have been less than ideal is a huge understatement. Because this man hasn't been holding back in any way. According to a shocking court document that hit the media a while back, the star's ex claimed his monthly payments which were made by the stars agreed to in their divorce, suddenly stopped in February 2022. For the news that hit the media, Hunter asked that the court order Wendy's guardian to make payments as contractually required under the MSA and severance agreement. As was initially reported a while back, Wendy was placed in financial guardianship earlier this year. In his filing, Kevin told the court that he 100% depends on the payments, which were agreed to in their marital settlement agreement. To live, in the man's words himself, he said, I have fallen behind on most of my bills. I currently live in a community that requires payments to the homeowners association and I'm behind on that bill. If the homeowners association fees are not paid, a foreclosure will soon follow, Kevin said as he pleaded to the court about the home he shares with his mistress and their love child. The former celebrity manager went on in his statement, saying, my car insurance hasn't been paid as a result of not receiving monthly severance payments. I'm behind on credit card payments because I have no money since the severance payments were suspended. He also went on to add that by refusing to make the alimony payments, Wendy had broken the terms that made up their settlement agreement. On top of the myriad of pressing financial matters Wendy's ex claimed he was facing, he also alleged that he doesn't have health insurance. The father of two claimed that he needs hip surgery which he can't afford without insurance and as a result of non-treatment. He lives with daily pain. He said, the fact that I am unable to sustain my life and pay my bills in order is extremely emergent to me. I cannot pay my bills and sustain my day-to-day -day living. Kevin also argued he was never given any reason by Wendy's guardian as to why the payments had ceased in the first place. However, Wendy and her team weren't exactly having any of it from him. In pushing back on Kevin's demands and claims of entitlement, news outlets have revealed that the ex-TV host's attorney filed that the star has not had income from the Wendy Williams show since October of 2021, just one month into what would be an entire season of the show going on in her absence. Per the statement from her attorney, on October 15, 2021, plaintiff was informed by Talk WW that her contract was being suspended and that no compensation shall accrue or be payable to the plaintiff for the duration of the plaintiff's disability and incapacity. The former talk show host's attorney went on to cite the divorce settlement agreement she and Kevin signed back in January 2020. If, for any reason, plaintiff's contract with Talk WW is not renewed and or is otherwise suspended, cancelled, or terminated and plaintiff does not have any other television show being aired, and paying her an equivalent salary. Defendant understands and agrees that all severance payments shall be subject to either termination or modification, Wendy's attorney said in citing the ex's agreement. Wendy's attorney continued that her client has not received a salary from Talk WW since October of 2021 and that she presently has no other television show being aired and paying her any income, let alone an equivalent salary. Wendy's absence from her show began in September at the start of her fall 2021 season. Days later, Wendy was hospitalized for a psychiatric evaluation. Wendy was reportedly making $10 million a year or $55,000 an episode for The Wendy Williams Show. However, it wasn't only her job that was affected by her problems, it also extended to her finances. Let me be the first to tell you that Kevin was aware of all of this and still dared to keep asking her for money. You see, according to news reports at the time, Wells Fargo froze her accounts in January of this year over concerns that Wendy was of unsound mind and the bank suspected financial exploitation, dementia, or undue influence. Later, in another exclusive report, it was revealed that Wendy had subsequently been placed in a financial guardianship, which is why Kevin had been talking about her financial guardian in his statement to the court. But even with how bad things had already been looking for Wendy, it got even worse. According to details for the news, the host, who had previously claimed she was sober, had several public incidents involving alcohol before she checked into rehab for severe alcoholism in August last year. Alcohol has been a real struggle for her over the past several years. She is battling severe alcohol abuse mixed 
mixed with serious health issues. One insider close to the star claimed about her rehab stay. She was being treated for extreme alcohol abuse. She has had numerous doctors who have told her for years if you drink, you'll die. She never really wanted to stop and the people around her in New York allowed her to keep drinking. These problems Wendy had been dealing with at the time didn't just affect her job and money, they also affected other parts of her life, including her son's life. According to court documents exclusively obtained by news outlets, Wendy's son Kevin Jr. said that as a result of his mother's medical issues, he had to leave his Florida university for a full academic year. In the eviction papers, Kevin noted that his mother has always paid for his housing. In his words, all this happened suddenly and all the financial support that she has always given me stopped, including my housing. Kevin said his mother even paid his rent for a full year in advance for his $2 million luxury pad in March of 2021. He went on saying, When I moved in my mom, Wendy Hunter rented the apartment for me paying for a full year plus security, and added that she intended to purchase the home at the end of the lease. As the lease approached the end, my mom went through some health issues that put the court in control of her finances, Kevin said of the lease which ended in February 2022. Kevin Jr. added that even though his name is on the lease, his mom was paying and for medical and legal reasons, she has not been able to pay the rent for the past month since the one-year lease ended and the court has controlled her finances. Wendy's only child also said he had spent the past several months back and forth between states checking on his mom's well-being. The 22-year-old added, Everything happened very quickly and unexpectedly and I had no idea things would end up like this. Looking at all of these details that have only come up because of the health and financial problems Wendy had been having, doesn't it amaze you that Kevin Hunter was still hell-bent on getting money from his ex by any means necessary? Let me also remind you that this is the same man that stepped out on Wendy while they were married and is now married to that very same mistress he had at the time. Well, to say that people are pissed at Kevin for still having the audacity to ask for her money considering everything he did to her, coupled with the fact that she was literally fighting for her life would be an understatement as a lot of them have taken to social media to express their feelings about it. One user with this line of thought wrote, Kevin Hunter is absolutely pathetic. Wendy herself doesn't have access to her own money but you think you should. Maybe if you didn't contribute to driving her crazy she would still be capable of working and paying for your lifestyle. Get your mistress Sharina Hudson to work. Who knows, this just might be exactly what gets Kevin and his new woman into the labor market, but we'll wait for the paparazzi to spot them until we're convinced. That's it for this video, goodbye!